Okay, so hi and hello. This is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader, and today we are going to be creating an expert advisor based on the trend line breakout uh, strategy. So I do have uh, one that is over here, and what I mean is this that you are going to see over here. So um, we are going to be identifying trend lines and whenever we break out of a trend line we we have our trend line break we trade it here's an example let me try to find a good example like for example over here we do have a resistance trend line and then whenever we break out of the trend line we open a position or buy position if it is a support trend line and we break it like for example you can see over here we open a sell position in that uh, instance so um, yeah that is what we are going to be doing apparently this time around we already created an expert advisor that traded based on a based on a trend line uh, based on trend line bounces whereby uh, let me try to find a good example whereby for example this is a bounce we could have opened a sell position over here after eating the trend line we open a sell position and then we read out the way so if it is a resistance trend line we did open a position because of the bounce over here we open a sell position but in our case now we have reversed the logic and then we want to have now breakouts instead instead of uh, bounces so what we do is a uh, we open a, sell, a buy position instead of a sell position after a breakout to the upper side so that's what we'll be doing in this uh, particular lesson apparently so yeah let's keep tuned and uh, yeah we had already created an expert advisor based on the previous logic that i did define so i'm just going to be explaining the code and the changes that we did make so we do have the definition over here which not you can have it or not have it apparently then you do have the the detection look back bars i think you may need to have a look at the previous lesson based on the trend line bounce trader ea that we did create for you to understand because most of the stuffs are just like a carry over we do have the the point storylines we do have the touchdown points for the minimum definition of a trend line you could have two four five six but in our case we chose three then you do have the allowance for bar penetration we do have the extension of bars where we ray the object i mean the trend line to the right after the the, the final or the last point to be identified then we do have the minimum bar spacing between the touches then we do have the lot size then we do have the stop loss points and the risk to row ratio one is to one by default then we do have the angled inclination so the maximum and the minimum in this instance then we do have the the restriction for r squared method of fit that we do have in then we do have the deletion of the expired or broken objects to remove them from the chart not to clutter the chart then we do have the enablers for the ea to trade based on signals that are identified or you could have it as a force then the expert advisor will not will identify the trade lines and visualize them but will not trade or act upon the signals then the allowance for drawing the arrows and the point labels and then the colors over here quite self-explanatory for the support resistance lines so what we're going to be doing is a uh, let's open the meta editor then i will show you the code that we will be working on so this is what we did create previously as i did explain uh, let me run it so you can see where we will be graduating from and to uh, so this is what we did of to the end so you are trading based on these uh, touches so or bounces i would like to call them touches so 
yeah based on the touches we touch on the trade line we buy or sell whatever i'm trying to look for a good example like uh, over here we do have 0.1.1.3 and what turn line touches this oh because on the of the closing candle we open quite far so we touch and then we open a buy position in our case we want to trade the breakout not the touch points in that uh, instance so maybe yeah you can see what we do mean so that was now the code for the previous lesson but in this lesson this is what we are now going to be doing in our instance so i will be briefly explaining the code and that will be all so we define the the trading we include the trading class and instantiate the trading object obj trade dot obj trade is what we usually use then we create an enumeration this is an add-on because of the closing whether you want to close to to trade based on the candle breakout either breaking above or below or the entire candle being above or below that uh, instance an enumeration for that we do have the swing structure over here we will store the price and the time we do have the starting point where we did store the time price and there is support to make sure that we don't trade we don't have a trend line that is a two trend lines coming from the same point then we do have this a trend line information structure where we store the trend line information like the name starting time and time starting price and ending price the slope there is support flag to indicate whether that is a support or resistance flag we store the touch count over there we store the creation time touch indices in a indices array then is a signaled so that we don't trade it any further after it is signaled then we do have the forward declaration over here for the we do forward declaration for the point i mean for the functions that we'll be using in the code then we do have the input section over here so yeah the inputs for controlling the experts then we do have the global variables similar to what we had on the previous lesson that we did do then on initialization we resize our trend lines and the starting points to zero and uh, yeah reset the counts as well we do the same thing to the on the initialization or you could as well say use array free then on a on tick we now call the new bar to make sure you run once per bar then detect the sync points update the trend trend lines find and draw the trend lines the functions that you are going to be defining over here so this is the first function to define or to look up for new bar on the chart so that we log we know we have a new bar graduation then we can do our logic else we keep off and the return force indicating no new bar has been detected then for the swing points this is what to do we sort the swing points first this is the logic we use to sort the swing points i'm not going to explain the logic because we already did that on the previous lesson so we sort the swing points and then we use that sorting uh, logic to detect the swing points now over here this is how we do swing point detection this uh, instance similar so i don't find any instance of defining or uh, or uh, repeating you know ourselves in this case uh, because it is same same uh, code in this uh, instance detect swings same same uh, instance that we did define so that's i'm not explaining too much just displaying the code for you to you know follow up then we have the function now to calculate the angle so which will now give us the slope and the intercept and the yeah slope and intercept apparently so that's the function then we do have now the function over here 
to validate the trend line to make sure we have a valid trend line so yeah that's the function that we do have then we have the other function over here to calculate the r squared fit of a goodness fit in this case so this is where we have this uh, function or we switched the function to just have better uh, detection better trend light detection uh, stuffs so instead of using these uh, list squares of fit method we now changed the method to using this to make it more dynamic where was it i mean to reduce the noise so yeah this is what we now uh, used which gives kind of the same thing but just a different formula we used the r squared method over here so that's now the logic i'm not going to explain that either then the starting point to just see if the point they are coming from the same starting uh, instance in that case so if they doesn't match then we return true if they if they match we return true if they doesn't we return false for to mark it as unused then you can use that particular point for a trend line then we have now a function over here to remove the trend line just for clearing the trend lines information and the stuffs or uh, elements from the storage array just the same thing that we did have in the previous lesson then we have now uh, the mega function over here to update the trend line so not no big change for updating the trend line in this uh, instance so that's the whole logic just the same as the previous one mm. Yeah, up to that point now the final function that we do have is the function to find and draw the trend lines now which does now the bigger ev lifting so logic is just the same same we just alternate or a change the where we open the positions where you open and close the positions that instance so nothing much mm -hmm. just the same as the the previous one only that we use the r squared method in this uh, case instead of the instead of uh, the other method for ident identification Yeah, so that's the whole logic. I'm going to run this slowly for you to copy and follow up on the code structure that we did use this uh, instance. So yeah, the function over here for stuff just the same as the previous one. The only difference is where we just open the position. We just like uh, other than having a bounce for us to open a position, we wait and see. We wait for uh for a what is it called the breakout in that uh, instance. So we just switch or inverse the breakout logic and have a breakout logic, nothing much. So yeah, that's now the old code for the trend line breakout expert advisor. So just like run this slowly for you to see or um, to maybe copy the code or you no know, follow up for learning purposes or whatever it is you wanna use it for. And uh, you could as well advance it, make it more extra advanced by adding more confirmations, more filters, and uh, yeah, there is a lot you could do to the code to make it revamped. So um, yeah, those are the only changes. I think you may need to watch the previous lesson on 
the bounces trend line trader EA that we did do. And uh, yeah, that is all about the trend line breakout uh, expert advisor in this uh, case. So um, thank you and bye bye. Keep tuned for more price action lessons coming our way.